Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Nick Meckin here with Pick Dogs. Today is December 6, 2023, and I'll be covering the first half of the NBA. All we care about on this show is the first and the second quarter. If I don't say the spread in the bet, the play will always be a money line bet. But before I get into my free plays, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're looking for my top plays, head on over to pickdogs.com and check out our premium picks tab. That's where you'll find my top plays for just $20. And best of all, all of our daily packages come with credit guarantee. You can read more about this on our website under any daily package we cappers have to offer. Now in yesterday's play, we absolutely smacked the first game in the Milwaukee Bucks over the New York Knicks in the first half. We're still waiting on the Phoenix Suns and the Los Angeles Lakers. We have the Suns in that first half looking for that 2-0 sweep. Let's roll right into a full slate of games finally here. None of this in, in tournament um, stuff going on. We got a full slate of NBA, so let's roll right into game number one. We got the Miami Heat and Toronto Raptors. The Heat are currently six and six on the road this year, five and five in their last ten games, just losing to the Indiana Pacers, one forty-four to one twenty-nine. Um, that isn't a surprise that the Pacers score that many points, as the Indiana Pacers are currently first in all of NBA in points per game. Jimmy Butler ended up having thirty-three points in that loss, and let's talk about this. Toronto Raptors team, who is nine and eleven currently this season, four and six in their last ten games, just coming off a loss as well 119 to 106 Scotty Burns putting up 29 points in that win um, this Toronto this Toronto Raptors team absolutely crashes the boards hard they're right now currently sixth in the NBA in um, rebounds per game and on the offensive side they're actually fourth in NBA um, in offensive rebounds so clearly this team likes to crash boards they get rebounds which gives them a second chance here um, on the offensive side um, but I like this Miami Heat team I know that they're traveling here they have just got their butts whipped to this Indiana Pacers team um, I think they come out here in Toronto in the first half strong um, out of the gates I don't know if they win this game outright, but I think they will get off to a hot start. That's why in game number one between the Miami Heat and the Toronto Raptors, we're smacking the Heat first half. So on to game number two between the Orlando Magic and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Right now, the Magic are currently 14 and six. They are nine in one in their last 10 games played. They just came off a bad loss to the Brooklyn Nets, 129 to 101. Banchero ended up scoring 19 points in that one and 10 rebounds. Banchero is averaging just a little over. Over 19 points this year. Banchero has absolutely stepped up in the absence of Carter. This Magic team, their pace of play, they get up and down the court very well. They're coming in six right now in the NBA. And then this Cleveland Cavaliers team, they are currently five and six at home. Seven and three though in their last 10 games, just winning their last one, 110 to 101 against the Pistons. Um, Garland had 22 points in that win. I think Garland and Mitchell here will be active early on. But I think that this Orlando Magic team and the way that they've been playing, especially on this little run that they've been having, they're young. They get up and down the court, which is allowing them to score a lot of points, and they play tough defense late in the game. I absolutely love, though, this Orlando Magic team to hop out on Cleveland Cavaliers in Cleveland and night. That's why in game number two, between the Orlando Magic and the Cleveland Cavaliers, we're smacking the Magic first half. Let's roll under third and final game between the Charlotte Hornets and the Chicago Bulls. Right now, the Hornets are three and five this season on the road, three and 10 in their last 10 games. They're just coming off a loss to the Timberwolves, 123 to 117. And yet again, they will be without their star offensive guy, LaMelo ball here. He's out tonight, um, I believe, with an ankle injury. And then the Chicago Bulls team. Both these teams are actually coming in pretty evenly matched here. Um, you got the Chicago Bulls who are 6-6 six and six at home. They're 500. The 3-7 and seven in their last 10 games on a two-game losing streak. Just um, Actually, they're on a two-game winning streak. My apologies. That's I know it's very rare to say that the Bulls are on a winning streak here, but they just ended up winning their last game to the Pelicans. Um, in that one and Cody White stepped up in a big performance against the Pelicans. He had 31 points in that game. Zach Levine will be out in tonight's game with a foot injury. I actually do like the Chicago Bulls team. Granted, they are on a two-game winning streak. 
if they could get a little momentum here at home against a struggling Charlotte Hornets team as well. I think that the Bulls could come out strong here in the first half. That's why in game number three between the Charlotte Hornets and the Chicago Bulls, we're smacking the Bulls first half. Let's take a recap of the games I've selected for you today. Game number one, we got the Miami Heat and the Toronto Raptors. We're smacking the Heat first half. Game number two between the Orlando Magic and the Cleveland Cavaliers. We're smacking the Orlando Magic first half. And our third and final game between the Charlotte Hornets and the Chicago Bulls. Bulls were taking the Bulls first half once again. This is Nick Menken with Pick Dogs. If you have not done so, smack that like button. Helps me out a ton and it costs you guys none. And if you're looking for my top plays, my premium picks, head on over to PickDogs.com and check out that premium picks tab down below.